Hey internet, so I'm here to tell you about something that I should join but it doesn't exist. It's called Chanel Anonymous because I just made my second Chanel purchase in the last two months which is really frightening except I have a really good excuse and I'm specifically filming in this outfit so that you can see it and that is that I'm dressed up to go to a really fancy birthday party and I realized that as much as I adore my new Chanel GSD bag I cannot wear it to an event like that because it is just too big. I'll need two seats instead of one, um, which is just super awkward to ask for. So I decided that I needed a smaller bag and the iconic bag to get from Chanel when you are having that problem, if we can call it that, is a wallet on chain or walk as it's affectionately known. So I didn't know about this bag until I started sort of researching the world of Chanel and going on the purse blog for and blogs and all of that wonderful stuff that really helps to get you addicted and as soon as I saw it I knew that it was the right solution for me and I'll tell you a little bit more about why as we unpack it together because it sounded to me from my grand shopping tote unboxing that I did recently that you guys kind of enjoyed that. Um, I think it's a really fun way to share a new purchase because at least you can see what you get. I purchased my wallet on chain from Holt Renfrew in Vancouver where I live and I was very fortunate that they actually had really good stock um, which seems to be really unusual. A lot of people really struggle to find this bag in the States but somehow here in Canada it's more widely available so I went to Holt Renfrew in Toronto that's the first time that I visited this bag um, to think about this purchase because it's obviously a really big purchase so when I was on my business trip I went and visited it there and they had an amazing stock and they had a pretty good stock here in Holt Renfrew as well so if you're looking for one now you know because I was also considering purchasing it in Seattle because I'm probably going to be going over there for a weekend at some point soon and they told me they had a year's waiting list and I was welcome to join it but that wasn't going to solve my problem because my party is today so this works out really beautifully and I can't wait to put my things in it and carry it out but I definitely wanted to share it with you before I do that so let's get right into unpacking this beautiful little wallet on chain you guys can see I got another camellia and I feel like I need to find a craft project for something to do with those because they're just so beautiful um, when I walked out of the store it had a beautiful bow here with this Chanel um, I think it's gross grain ribbon with the Chanel logo all over it um, but it got undone when I was out to dinner to celebrate my new purchase um, it was definitely a real TGIF um, kind of day so I went out for dinner after and unfortunately got unknotted so then right here I have the receipt and you guys do not want to see this other than that it's really pretty isn't it? They managed to make everything, even the most painful parts of the purchase, um, really gorgeous. I will put the amount that I paid for it down below in the description so that you guys can make up your minds as to whether you want to know or not. It is very expensive. I'm still on that handbag ban, by the way. It has not stopped, but I made an exception for this. Um, so here we go, I have this little bag, and I think it'll be fun to sort of use this as part of my decor. Um, because I love the way it looks and I don't want to put it away in a wardrobe so that I can actually enjoy it at least. So here's the box. It's a really good size box um, as opposed to the box for my GST which is so massive that it's too big to have out. Um, this one is a really nice size um, to maybe make part of your decor if you are interested in that. And I can open it because there's kind of an air vacuum thing going on right now. Put the lid away and this is what you have inside so apparently these are new dust bags they're like a suede effect with the chanel on them and there's a little tag i'm actually not sure what this is let me see i think they're probably care instructions yeah showing you here's the little dust bag it does feel very nice and luxurious at first um this was kind of invisible in the box and so I thought she wasn't giving me a dust bag. If that happens to you ever, make sure you complain because dust bags are really, really useful. If you purchase any kind of investment bag, they're wonderful to have and sometimes um, high quality shoes will come with dust bags too and they're just awesome. So here is that and you can just see the beginning peeking out, shall we do, the big reveal, slow motion. 
for as low as I can manage. So here it is. Um, and I got the quilted caviar with gold hardware. Apparently the quilted caviar is one of the hardest ones to find for wallet on chains. Um, and the reason for that is that it's basically like a mini flap bag. So it's a real classic. Um, there's absolutely no way that this is ever going to go out of style. And it's made out of caviar leather, which is a lot more durable than lambskin. So if you are planning to use it a lot, which I am, um, then it's a good purchase to make. So here is my thought process as to why I decided I really needed this now. My GST is really large and I just find that for after work drinks or for lunches out, it's just too big. It's great for everything else, it's the perfect everyday bag, it fits all of my essentials and looks really wonderful with all outfits that I put together, whether they be more or less formal or casual or for the office or whatever floats my boat. Um, but if I'm out somewhere that's a little bit more cramped or busy, it just doesn't fit anywhere. And so I find myself really lusting for something smaller like a wristlet or something that I can just put my phone, my keys, some lip gloss and some cards in, and that's really all that I need. And so I didn't want to get a completely different bag that wouldn't fit in with my GST because that was such a lovely emotional investment for me with my new job, but I wanted to get something that would fit in with it. So here is my thought process. I am actually intending to use this as an everyday wallet. Um, and I think when you make a big purchase, my philosophy is that you should use it a lot, not a little bit. Um, so I definitely, I just want to get wear out of it. I want it to age. I want to use it um, all the time because to me that's what makes it worth it. That's what will give me the most joy out of my purchase. Um, so I intend to use this as an everyday wallet and then when I'm going out or going out for lunch I will leave my GST locked away in my office where it will be safe and I will just take this with me. And during the weekend, if I'm just running a quick errand, for example, going to um, like a farmer's market or something like that, and I don't want to take my big bag, I just want to have this crossbody, it works great for that too. And what sold me is that it's also just, it's so lovely for a formal event. It's a perfect evening clutch as well, without looking too much like a wallet, even though that is what it is and what I'll be using it for, because it has this gorgeous Chanel chain on the inside. So there are many ways that you can wear this chain. There are lots of fun tricks for winding it around the flap um, to make it shorter or double it up. And I'm absolutely in love with all of those. Um, the sales associate, Christina at Holt Renfrew showed me how to do all of that. And I've been picking those tips up online as well. So if you guys would like to see a video on that, because I bet you could do that with bags other than a Chanel as well, then I will surely make that for you. Let me give you guys a good look. So you can see it's got the gold hardware double C's here, the gold hardware chain. It's made out of beautiful pebbled caviar leather in a quilted pattern, which I absolutely love because that just signifies Chanel to me. Then you can see the inside is partly burgundy and partly black. Um, and there are card slots back here, lots of them. There are six. Then there's a change slot on the inside, which is wonderful because I always end up with change. And then at the front here, there is another pocket, which might be good for your phone. I'm not really sure. I haven't really used this bag a lot yet. And then back here, there is a little pocket, which I intend to use for business cards. So you guys will certainly be seeing my new little wallet on chain in my videos, along with my GST and other handbags, of course. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this sneaky little reveal for my little purchase or big purchase, depending on whether you're talking about size or not. And I will see you in my next video.